People all over central Illinois will be honoring Juneteenth tomorrow. This year, though, there's even more reason to celebrate. President Biden signed a law yesterday recognizing it as a federal holiday, and the governor signed one earlier this week, making it a state holiday. WCNI3's Jamie Mays is with us. Jamie, this has been a long time coming. It has, Jennifer, and people who have worked to get Juneteenth recognized as a federal holiday say it's one big step forward for the country. I think it's due time, I think it's over time that these people should be honored and remembered. Now that the day has finally come, Juneteenth is officially a federal holiday. 95-year-old civil rights activist Opal Lee is known as the grandmother of Juneteenth. People need to be aware when we consider Juneteenth that bridge to freedom. Evelyn Hood works at a museum in Decatur. She says the history goes back to slavery in the Civil War when black soldiers fought. We were still enslaved, but because of Frederick Douglass, he was a friend of Abraham Lincoln, and he talked to him about let the men prove that they were men because, you know, we were not citizens, we were not people, we were property. About 40,000 black soldiers died in the war. They contributed to the Union defeating the Confederacy. So once he convinced Abraham Lincoln that and he saw the lives that were lost during the Civil War, he had compassion enough to write the emancipation. That document gave freedom to slaves in the Confederate states, but not everyone knew they were free. Word came to Galveston two and a half years after the document was signed. That today is known as Juneteenth. How on earth am I supposed to express the joy? How am I supposed to express all the years that we've worked and to it come to fruition on the backs of so many people? There are several celebrations in cities tomorrow. There's one indicator. It starts at the courthouse at 1030. Back to you. All right, Jamie, thank you so much.